Hey guys, so what we have here is a really interesting case. It's actually about using search uh, within an actual cell or is actually uh, an actual column. Uh, we're going to be looking at some tweets that I actually got back in May. Uh, it's actually using the keyword bike. Now we actually have tweets that have that keyword inside of them. So uh, this case, we can actually think about it as a case where you will actually hold an account uh, for Twitter or Facebook, anything like that, and you're trying to actually analyze text. Long sentences, we're actually talking about long sentences. It's not actually just one word inside a column. It's actually multiple words. It's actually a sentence that we actually try to analyze by searching for keywords. So that's what we're actually doing right now. I have a table. We have it actually has about 120, I believe, uh, rows of tweets. It's basically just tweets, and it's actually 118. And as you can see, uh, we have this columns. Uh, it's actually eight columns. So we have when it was created, which was the user, who was the user who actually created this. Uh, this is user ID, some other information, and this was, uh, we actually have some other information about the profile image, and then we actually have the tweet, which is column H. So we actually have it here, and you're going to notice that some of these uh, actual tweets don't have information for created ad or from user. So we actually need to handle that. So. We have this tweets, this tweets table, and we have this keywords table. So the keywords are the actual words that we're going to be looking at the tweet level, which is row by row. Now, we need to understand that here we're not actually looking at the uh, scenario of counting multiple instances inside a tweet. In other words, if one tweet actually has uh, duplicates, let's say that it actually has the uh, keyword OK multiple times, uh, it's just going to count as one because it's just one tweet. So it's not a weighted uh, amount, it's just one tweet that actually has this keyword. Uh, the other fact is that we're going to be using which is a search function and what actually does search is that it actually looks not just for this specific word okay but it can actually look at anything that has those letters combined so we can actually use sum and when we actually use sum it can actually find the word and it's going to count sum one because sum is actually part of the word sum one so we're going to look at that later but right now we need to actually import those tables, these two tables, keywords and Twitter or tweets to my data model as you can see here and the interesting fact is that we're going to use those as disconnected tables so we actually have those tables separated and the reason why I actually have the keywords table is because I'm going to use this slicer I'm going to use this column keyword as a slicer that's the reason why. So. I have the solution here, uh, it's actually already done, is basically the user selects one of the keywords and then he actually gets the response of the users that are actually saying those words. Now you can actually try to see this case as something that you'll see uh, something like, uh, I don't know, we actually just saw a product and we're trying to get any type of feedback on that product and we're actually using keywords like uh, really bad words, curse words. <laughs> most of the cases where uh, someone's not satisfied with the product and is actually tweeting at your account on Twitter or at your account on Facebook or if it's actually really really uh, satisfied with the, with the product then they will say something like hey this is awesome uh, this is really cool or something funny like this is lol I don't know I have no idea yet but that's the type of information that we're trying to analyze the trend that they actually have and for that, we actually use this uh, interesting uh, slicer, which is just the slicer from that column, keywords. 
keyword column as a slicer and we just select the uh, the ex the actual word and it's going to be using that as a search uh, text now the solution or the actual calculated field that actually runs behind the scenes is this one now we're going to look at from the sum x sum x which is basically saying that we first need a table and for that I'm going to filter the table that has the tweets and I'm going to filter it as you can see, as you already saw that uh, some of the uh, tweets didn't have complete information like they didn't have uh, uh, the, the actual tweet was completely blank so what I did here is what anyone will do is basically just saying that if the tweet is completely blank then we're not going to count it we're just not going to take that in consideration. So what I did here is that I'm actually using a, a test which is saying that if this is actually blank then we're not going to be uh, taking that in consideration. But if it's false that's why I'm actually using use uh, or equals false. We're going to take those rows in consideration. So that's just to filter the table. This whole thing here is just to filter the table. and after we actually have the table ready to do the iteration then we're going to use this if here and the if is needed because we have to use search just like I'm actually doing here and in order to use search we need to use the first parameter which is find text and what we're trying to find is one of those keywords and the user needs to select one of those keywords if he actually selects more than one we're gonna get an error because search can only handle one unique text here it doesn't allow an array uh, in Excel language so we can only have one keyword at a time and that's why I'm actually using calculate and values just to get what the user selected on the slicer then we're gonna get, get OK as a result and that's what's gonna be used as a find text Later, we're going to be using uh, a column where we're going to be searching those texts. So we're going to use it that's within this text, which is the tweets, the column text, which is the column H uh, from this Twitter uh, uh, table. And then we're going to say that we're going to leave this third parameter in blank which is a start position as we can see here and then on the last one I'm actually using blank because in the event of not found value then we're gonna just get a blank instead of an error after that happens after the actual search is done which is this whole thing here then I'm gonna compare that result to blank I'm gonna say that if that result is not equal to blank then I'm gonna get a 1 but if it's actually blank then let's leave it blank that's why I'm actually using if and the reason why I'm actually using the if uh, here is just to get the ones and blanks because at the end we're gonna use that new uh, iteration this new column this new product uh, just to sum it just we're gonna sum that column and it's just gonna be a bunch of ones and that's gonna be the instances or the tweets we're gonna count basically we're gonna count the tweets and we're gonna wrap it up with if error in the event that we actually get an error and the error will only come by having any type of keywords here uh, multiple keywords at a time that's what will trigger this if error then we're gonna get a blank and that's what happens so we have it ready and if we actually do have an user that basically selects all of them we're gonna get blank but if we, if we actually just have this it's gonna work just perfect and that's what we actually have um, that's the way that it works it's just a concept uh, it can be improved as uh, so it can actually we can actually do some sort of let's say uh, exact search where we're actually actually looking at the exact word right here and we can actually go for case sensitive uh, findings or a search using instead of actual search 
we can actually use a function that is called find that it ba is basically just the same as search but it's actually case sensitive so that is it if you guys have any questions just leave it in the comments below thank you